guys, welcome back to Vaz Food Review. Today we're looking at ribbed cracklins in old fashioned salt and vinegar. Those are these are from Oishi, which um, I almost feel like that's supposed to be, I guess, the Philippines. Um, display in store in cool dry place away from direct sunlight and high temperatures. Consume immediately after opening. Prolonged exposure to air may affect crispness. Uh, and consume before 2016. Yeah, if it was 2006, that wouldn't that be terrible? Um, and this is a beer match series, which um, of snacks are cut in big, by big, big bite-sized pieces. Flavors were selected specifically for a beer drinker's enjoyment. So, with that in mind, I suppose. Let's put that to the test, shall we? Salt and vinegar flavor. Ooh, and they smell just like vinegar. And they are not kidding. These are big bite-sized pieces. So, um... They're a rice cracker. They are really crisp. This is a buck, too. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Drinking it, having it in your mouth with beer, I would imagine would not be a good texture. Um. I love this texture, this nice, like, airy crunch. Um, they have a nice vinegar to them. They're a little sweet and a little salty. These are exactly what I'd like to have while I'm drinking. Um, so they're not kidding. These are really good. Again, I don't know where they're from. Um, Oishi actually sounds like it's Japanese, but on the back it's it's Liuwei Marketing Corps. Um, and it says Luzon, Visayas and it says a bunch of stuff about the Philippines. So I'm, I'm guessing these are from the Philippines. Um, and that's the case, out of the fucking park. Um, I don't, don't think I've ever had anything like this that was meant for beer. Um, these are similar to a lot of actual Japanese and Chinese style um, crackers and cookies and things like that. Um, but they're always sweet with like honey or really salty with soy. Uh, the vinegar on these is really good and I really like that. It's got a nice sour, sour bite to it, which pairs weirdly with the salt and weirdly with the, um, with the beer. By the way, Kilt Lifter, uh, I've already reviewed it, but it's really good, too. Give it a try if you can find it. It's probably unlikely that you will. It's local. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching.